Whoa, is that Duke in the background? Wait, no, wait. I got the shortest dreads out of everybody, man. Kai Sinat, Duke Dennis, even Agent Zero. Who's going to be the number one? Who's going to be the top rank? Cast your votes now in the comment section. Hey, man, listen, man. Starting with number five, we got Agent Zero. <laughs> now, I found this video of Agent Zero doing like a hair routine. I thought it was pretty funny, but this is before we get into him doing all these different hairstyles, which we're going to get into today's video. That's why he's number five. Of course, he has cool different hairstyles, but he keeps it pretty simple. There are other people that have more intentional hairstyles. He typically just has his hair like this with the hat on, and that's typically how he rolls. But we're gonna get into like some different hairstyles and especially ending off with some dreadlocks, most likely in part two of this series of AMP. But honestly, I feel like Agent Zero does some pretty cool hairstyles. So I actually wanna skip forward to this where Agent does different hairstyles and he's getting the AMP's reactions. And this is like the iconic kind of Snoop Dogg box braids or Travis Scott box braids. I know, uh, What's the name? Did these as well. Kendrick Lamar did box braids like this. A lot of people have done it. I've done it myself. I did four box braids when I had a high top fade. And to be honest, I think it's a, a really clean look. Whoever did it did a really good job of making the braids extremely tight. I feel like when it comes to braids, it's always good to, I don't know, make them look more full. Like, not puffy, but, you know, thicker. Like when she did his braids, like she did them extremely tight. And I'm not sure if there's any way around that besides making bigger sections. And the sections are already big. But I think it's an overall really cool hairstyle. I've personally done this before, like I said. What do you guys think? Comment down below. And we're gonna go through a couple more of his hairstyles right here. And we're gonna get into Davis here soon. So comment down below uh, what rank you think Davis is. And we're doing this out of five. Now when Davis is in here showing him his, his forehead, Agent even mentioned, he's like, yo, having a larger forehead, it's harder to do different hairstyles. And that's one of those things that you have to learn what your head looks like, how your head feels with different hairstyles, and then try things from there because doing different hairstyles is really based on your head shape. You know, anybody and everybody can look good in any hairstyle, but a lot of people don't feel comfortable in waves, a lot of people don't feel comfortable in dreadlocks, a lot of people don't feel comfortable in uh, braids. So you gotta find what works best for you, you personally. Um, a lot of people think their head shape is weird and they like to cover it up by having longer hair. And I've actually discovered that I actually like my head shape when I went down the route of getting waves. Right here we have them in like, looks like two strand twists. But at the same time, it almost looks like three strand twists, which three strands is essentially two strand twists with three strands. Holding up very well. One thing I want to say about Agent Zero is he reminds me a lot of Dunate. If you guys don't know Dunate, he's a guy I used to do videos with a whole ton. His brother actually makes videos now. Activeverse, that's his brother. And the reason being is because they're both Ethiopian. Agent Zero is Ethiopian and Activeverse and Dunate are both are all three Ethiopian. And they have this very distinct feature, especially the eyes, like the eyes is what makes it look like that. And I didn't even know Agent Zero was Ethiopian until I seen this like podcast or something like that. And then I'm like, oh, that that makes sense because he looks just like Dunate to me. Reminds me of Dunate a lot too. But Agent Zero, I got a ranking number five. You do have some really cool hairstyles though. But we got to move on to number four. Who do you guys think number four is in the rank? Comment down below. I'll give you like five seconds. All right. If you guessed Davis, you got it right. Davis is number four. And I'm gonna explain why I have Davis all the way at number four. Davis has some really cool hair. He doesn't have dreadlocks. A lot of times he does do two strand twists and he'll do the twist out. Realistically, this is one of the only videos I've seen of Davis with a clean fade and a nice lineup. And I'm not sure why he does that. And I, I completely understand because I don't like going to the barber. I don't like getting my hair cut by other people. So maybe that's one of the reasons why he does that. Maybe he has this whole other complete reason, obviously, of you know not getting fades but right here he has a really clean fade but overall as far as his hair now because this is actually an older video but his hair now and the way he maintains his hair he doesn't really maintain it as much and there's nothing wrong with that but this is just banked based on the rank i think they all have really dope hairstyles and uh, very dope like ways of doing their hair obviously you guys know that this is a dreadlock channel it's where we just review dreadlock stuff but i wanted to get into other hairstyles and do a ranking because i know a lot of you guys like to watch amt and right here he has the box braids in or the plaits whatever you want to call them i don't know what the difference between box braids and plaits are i think they're the same it's just braids going off the head davis has had a lot of hairstyles that mimic dreadlocks and this can be some encouragement for you guys if you want dreadlocks but you don't want to commit to the hairstyle try different hairstyles that look like locks just like box braids like we've seen with davis and also i think the hairstyle that really mimics dreadlocks the most is this one right here which is the two strand twist 
because from a distance you could even think that these are locks and realistically looking at this video right here they look like locks but we all know that this is just two strand twists as the hairstyle he does quite often and this is what i'm talking about guys like he doesn't have a clean fade and like i said there's nothing wrong with that some people just like to have that look and his hair looks really cool right here as well i like the bleached hair as well it looks really clean i'm sure just to get his hair that color he just bleaches it he doesn't do any toners or anything like that that's why you still have that copper tone under there do you think i rank davis properly do you think he's number four or do you think he's a higher ranking now i know we're ranking hair in this video but i want you guys to comment down below your favorite amp member and i also want to hear who you guys think is going to be number one as far as the best hairstyle in amp talking about doing hairstyles that mimic dreadlocks if you want them just try different hairstyles try Plats, try box braids, whatever you want to call it. Try two strand twist. Two strand twist is actually the most popular that looks like dreadlocks, and you're gonna get the best results with that. And it's honestly one of my favorite hairstyles, so you can try that. But if you want to go ahead and commit to dreadlocks, do that as well. Trust me, you're gonna love them. And if you need the tools, go to greatlocks.com. But who do you think is ranked number three? I want to hear you guys' comments. All right, who's number three? Go ahead and pause the video because you're gonna need some time for this one. This one's tough because it's right in the middle. Who's number three in AMP? If you guessed Phantom, then you got it right. Phantom is hilarious, man. He's number three because he has the cleanest. I'm telling you, the cleanest braids on YouTube. I've never seen his his braids fuzzy. Like you guys know Jim Jones, how Jim Jones gets his hair braided and then he says brush it afterward. Like you never see Phantom's braids fuzzy. Probably if they are fuzzy, he has it under a do-rag, which typically we see him with the do-rag on. I have a question for you guys. Like when it comes to people with waves or people with braids, and if this is you, why does it seem that like 90% of the time you have the do-rag on? And then like 10% of the time you actually wear your hairstyle outside of the do-rag. Now let me know down below. I wanna hear your guys' thoughts on that. And if you don't, do you have the same question as me? I feel like majority of the people that I know that have waves or braids, they always have their do-rag on, or they have something covering their hair. I'm not sure what that's all about. I know when I had waves, I hardly wore my do-rag. Even with dreads, like I don't wear a do-rag. I don't wear a do-rag to sleep. I don't wear a do-rag after doing retwists. Uh, maybe just one night, if that, but I don't ever like to just cover up my hair and just leave it like that. The reason he's number three is because he has some really, really, really clean braids. And I'm just not realizing it in this whole part one of the episode nobody in this episode has dreadlocks but in the next episode people do and you guys know who they are so who do you think is going to be in the next episode i'm sure you guys already know but who's going to be the number one who's the number one i feel like you guys are going to get it wrong for some reason i mean you guys can comment down below i know you guys are big amp fans so you probably know here's one thing about the braids all right here phantom you can see how the braids curl up in the back the way he manages this is he puts those beads and that makes him have some hang time and of course this is a little older video and he has way more hang time now but that's one of the reasons i personally I personally don't like cornrows on myself, especially outside of dreadlocks because my hair would always turn into shrimp in the back and I barely had any hang time. Um, but I've never even like grew my hair out long enough to have like extremely long hang time. But my hair was so tight to where all the time it just got, I got some like shrimp hang time. But guys, out of the three AMP members that I mentioned in today's video, what would you rank them? One out of three. And in the next video, we're about to get into something good. So see you guys tomorrow. If you want products like the crochet hook or the interlock tool or even locking gel to make your dreadlocks, click the link down below to go to greatlocks.com to pick out the products that you need for your dreadlocks.